remote podcast from the truck. A lot of remote stuff. I, I actually put an order in for another recorder. It's like a it's like a smaller version of the Rodecaster Pro, but not as big. But it's like it's real small and real compact. And I put the order in for that, you know. Maybe maybe I'll, I'll I'll let you guys know. Well, you know what? I will let you guys know because you know a lot of times, again, people take inspirations from others that they see, and it's not like they want to mimic in it or copy it, but they just want to know how to how, how they can better their setup right right you know and be, before i get into it i want you guys to stay tuned let's let's just stay tuned ryan little <laughs> Hey guys, Lockout Man back again with another commentary for you this evening. Oh man, late, late start. Uh, actually, I could have had like an 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 early start, and I, I I think I wish that I did, but of course I get well. Well, it's not technical. Well, it is two days, but the company where I'm at. We go by that. We we go by the hours, right? So we could take a thirty-four, or in my case, I can take a forty-eight. All right. So I didn't have to come back uh, to the terminal until after my forty-eight hours is up. Now that was about twelve o'clock ish today. So yeah, about time I got to the terminal, I got there early, I always like to get there on time. And I got my load at 12 o'clock or a little bit after 12 because they were still loading it. So I got my load a little bit after 12 and uh, and yeah, we, we rolled out, rolled out. Uh, my delivery appointment time might be a little bit sketchy considering the fact that my 10 hour is not up until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, give or take. Not sure about that. My appointment is at 12, but I only got three and a half hours to get there. Now the drive clock and the actual time that you know that you see that you can get there like your eta or something like that so say like you use google maps just to give you an eta on the time that you can get there you know because sometimes fleet managers would like to know your eta so you use google from the point where you at to the point to where you're going do 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 find which route is the well is you know you can't use it for truck specific, but it'll just give you a ballpark. Now, if you have a Ram McNally, uh, with that, you know, you'll follow the Ram McNally because it's truck specific, but it's also on the same way of the time that Google gives you so you can get there. So in my case, I have three hours, 27 minutes to get there. My 10 hour won't be up until 10 o'clock, give or take. Um, and then after the 10 hour, that leaves me with two hours, two hours, you know, so 10, 11, 12, three hours. That leaves me with about one and a half hours that unfortunately I, I i think i don't i think i won't make it so i'm gonna have to call my fleet manager in the morning give him an eta give him a ballpark so he can call the shipper or the receiver and let them know that i'm about whatever time that i am out so we good we good communications is the key 
with your fleet manager. If you don't have communications or miscommunications or misunderstandings, then everything can always go wrong between you and your fleet manager. And you and you don't want you don't want nothing to go wrong between you and your fleet manager. Cuz sometimes when you when 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 you communicate you know, they could say one thing, you could say another thing, and then it just get crossed, you know. So we use the text system. Now, of course, you can't text while you're driving. You know, you have to pull over, do the do 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 Or if you have talk to text, you know, you just hit that little microphone button. Hey, I'll be there such and such and such and such time, and we'll, we'll, we're good. All right. And then send. You know, I I got the I got a mount for my phone, so of course, hands free microphone. You know, Bluetooth come through the uh, come through the radio, so I can hear a little speaker at the top somewhere, so they can hear me. So I'm good, hands free, no problem. Both hands on the reel, down the way. All right, so let's talk about my day. Woo! Let's talk about my day, man. Um, crazy. Um, so, you know, like I said, nothing, nothing too excited. You know, I, I left out, got on the road, got my paperwork, you know, scaled out, and I'm, I'm, I'm just rolling. You know, just driving, doing my one two, listening to, you know, listening to the podcast. Uh, you know, listening to music you know listening to whatever's on youtube and all like that and yeah <laughs> i heard um i heard my name being mentioned again you we gonna talk yeah. i i i don't get it i really don't i i try to understand like what did i do you know what i'm saying i'm just this I'm just this old guy over here, you know, with a channel that does YouTube videos for new truckers. That's what I do, you know. But of course, I, I came, I was the subject of controversy a few times. And uh, I just, I, I, I just don't know. I, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It, it it is what it is. So it's it's nothing to talk about. It's nothing to actually conversate over because I had the particular person that mentioned my name. I haven't had no dealings with for almost a year and a half now. So what is the point anyway? Anyway. I'm not going to let that tear down my joy. So, you know, so as I'm riding down the riding down the way, I happen to notice something in the highway. And this is what happened. You see it? You ran you ran over that pipe. That thing that was in the middle of the street? What? That thing that was in the middle, you what? ran over it. What is it? Yeah, I don't know, but it's stuck up under your car and it's smoking. Here, oh, you leaking gas. What? That's it right there. Can you get it out? Uh, <laughs> no. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is smack dab into your gas tank. I can't hear you. I, <laughs> I said it's smack dab in your gas tank. 
great. So, yeah, you're gonna have to call for a uh, tow. Yeah, that's that's not good. What is that thing? I had the slightest idea, but I've seen, I've seen. What? what? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I seen when it I seen when it came across I don't know if it came off of another car but I seen when it came across the truck hit it and then yeah. it ricocheted right. and I saw you roll right up on I mean right up under it and I started and I noticed that it was a lot of smoke coming from up under your car so I knew it didn't uh, I knew it didn't come, I knew it didn't come back, so it was stuck up under your car, so. So I need to call the rental? Yeah, you're going to have to call the tow truck. And then what, they can go to a gas station or fix it, or what? Or you to a, um, tow you to a shop. You're going to need a whole new uh, gas tank. What is that car? <laughs> come on, give it to me. Uh, what's this, uh... 2000. I, I couldn't even tell you. I couldn't even tell you. I, I, I wish I could be more... I wish I could be more... Well, thank you for stopping. Not a problem. Not a problem. I didn't want you to... I didn't want you to continue driving because, like I said, if it would have sparked... It would have set. It would have set off a fire, and I definitely didn't want that to happen to you. So, so I appreciate you pulling over when you heard me going at you. So. Should I call the state, <coughs> state police? Or? Um. Well, yeah. If you want to call them just for safety purposes, what you is know. Nine one. Nine one one. Probably. Where am I at? Uh, Indiana. you are. What's this? Uh, 60 or 69, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think 69. Um, tell them you had um. 259. 259. You're welcome. So as I'm riding down the highway, I I see this object, you know, road debris, if you want to call it that, and it, I I don't know, I I think it flew off of a truck. I'm not sure. Maybe it was already in the road and the truck ran over and it popped it up and it came across the highway. But I, I seen it when it came across the highway. And right when it came across, it, it kind of like it kind of like came across the highway and the the Voyager van ran right over it. Now, usually it will probably like, you know, if you run over something, it will probably, you know, just and then spit right back out. But unfortunately, it got as you got seen, it got stuck up under the uh, uh, up under the up under the van and it tore a nice size hole in her gas tank like it was, you know, I was man, I tell you, if I haven't stopped her okay if i haven't stopped her because i seen it when it went up under there and she ran up under it and then all of a sudden i started noticing smoke and sparks from up under her car and i'm over here like man look, let me let me let me catch up with her and get her attention so i came up you know i came up on her i had to i had the high beams on and i was you know blow, uh blowing the uh the horn the the air horn and I got on the side of her and I, you know, trying to, you know, blowing the air horn and kind of like, you know, kind of like telling her to nudge over so she can get over to the, to the, uh, shoulder. So she pulls over to the shoulder. I pulls over to the shoulder. I gets out and, you know, I run down there to make sure that she was all right. I had to, you know, I had to get the fire extinguisher just in case. So. As I'm going down there, you know, I see her, you know, little, you know, little, little Caucasian lady, you know, look, looking like somebody's grandmother. So I get down there. She gets out the car. She says, oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
um, I said, you know, you hit something, right? She said, yeah, I, I know I ran over it. I said, yeah, it, it never came out. So as I looked up under the car, I see this huge, I see this huge, I don't know what it is, a, a cylinder, a, a tie rod, whatever. I, I don't know what it is. So I seen it lodged inside the fuel tank. And I go, she goes, will you be able to get it out? And I, you know, stick my hand up under there and, you know, see if I can wiggle it. And I was like, no, I don't think this is coming out. But I don't think you're going anywhere either. She was like, what? I said, it, it tore a good hole, good gash. All your fuel, all, all your fuel, gone. And that's what's the sparks. I mean, it was. Whew. Just imagine that she just kept driving just maybe about maybe about a couple of miles more. That would have that would have that would have caused an explosion and it would have been real, real bad. So again, um, you know, guys, you know, we're not we're not just we're we're not just drivers, man. We 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 observe. You see what I'm saying? Well, some of us anyway i i can't i can't tell for everybody else but for me i observe you know i try to i keep my distance i keep you know i keep my eyes focused six seconds out 12 seconds out i keep my head moving you know seeing both sides of the mirrors and you know and we stay focused out here we see things others can't because you know we're a little bit high up off the road so when you're in the car your eye level is like is straight like like this see that's your eye level in the car in the truck your eye level is not only straight but it's at an angle you do, does that make sense because you're sitting up high off the road and you are able to see you know, down the way, but you're also able to angle your eyes so you can see the road too. So with that said, man, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I was glad that I was able to, um, to, uh, you know, have something that, 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 that could have been a bigger issue if i would have just ignored it like a lot of these drivers do you know a lot of these drivers just ignore shit i we we're gonna ignore it we don't see it no I, I i try not to ignore shit i try to see everything in a row i mean you know like i said we had some missteps along the way but still you know not not everybody is like 100 percent but if you're on the road and you see something that might be a problem and you're able to, you know, get it avoided, please, please do that. Do that. All right. Your, your blessings will come back. You, you will get good. You, you will get your blessings. You'll get it to come back. It really would. So today that was, that, that was my good deed for the day and uh and we're gonna keep it moving we're gonna keep it moving so i'm 16 mike 30 but he getting money though see kim live by the age i can relate was wild at the age dead in jail locked